I mean, I just felt like there were a lot of surprises from Danny last night. Hey, uh, gr- best performance I've ever seen from Danny. How many times did I rewind it during the first Danny round? Danny Garcia. How many times did yeah, I, I can't rewind it the first round? Tisa. I didn't understand what the hell you were doing. He <laughs> kept playing Danny. If you're watching this, Sean Porter <laughs> came to my house, watched the fight. He watched it, rewind it. Watched it, rewind it. I, I'd already seen the fight. I stopped watching. Yeah. I don't know how many times he kept rewinding. I said, I'm done with this. I just re- I rewound the first round just a couple of times. That wasn't the entire first round. I needed to see when the fight starts. Where are you? Who mm-hmm. who are you? What are you what are you trying to do? And I had to make sure that he was establishing control. I had to make sure he had the game plan. I looked at you. I said, "Yo, this is the first time uh, I've seen Danny with a game plan right. like beyond you know what he's been known <laughs> for, which is a counter punch yeah. and a big hook." Um, I saw game plan. I saw comfort. I saw comfort. I mean, I could go on and on. I didn't even my, finish the fight. My did man I? was busy. I, I didn't even finish the fight, did I? No. No. Because <laughs> I was. No. And I was, then you rewind the end of a, a round. <laughs> he got something off, yeah. a jab, and got out of there and got back. I said, Sean was so hyped. <laughs> I hey, said, Danny, I, you got a fan in Sean Porter. <laughs> because I told y'all, <laughs> I said, I'm looking forward to Danny Garcia at 154. I, I got a feeling that we're going to see a comfortable, uh, comfort, uh, confident Danny Garcia. I felt like we saw all of that. And I felt like they really prepared for this fight. Whatever you did for this fight, like, and you're, you're going to keep fighting because you said you were a fighter. I believe it. Keep doing whatever it was that you did to get in the ring last night. Keep, keep doing that because I was, like, beyond impressed. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I love that double jab. People, sometimes he tripled it up. Yeah. He would just touch up top to get Benavides to put his hands up and then stab the body. Stab the, I mean, he landed that shot, like, 100 times. Uh, he showed us all the different looks he's capable of. Sometimes he shoulder rolled. Sometimes he caught. He just put the hands up and, and I mean, immediately shoot off the catch. He would just catch, catch, and, and shoe shine to the body. Great body attack. Jab. Boy, you was looking Good. old school in there last night. You was looking old look, school. Look, hey, Sean was hype. And, hey. that, and that nice step around movement. Not excessive. Yeah. Just well, stepping around. Just stepping enough. around. Right. And he got comfortable early. And all this taunting and stuff. Danny wasn't worried about that shit. He got, he got it comfortable early. It was just like, it was a new Danny. Uh, with the movement, with the movement, the body work, the work rate. Shout out to the my work, work rate. rate. I, 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 I got to go back and check, but I, I have a feeling that was the most punches he had ever thrown in a 12-round fight. Bro, he was just tagging his ass. Shout out to my boy, Rene Shake Ortiz. Springy. Oh, my God. Man. My boy was springy oh, last God. night. Had some pep in his step. The hand speed was noticeable. Mm-hmm. Now, now when you're not fighting these lightning quick 40 and 47 pounders, you're you now we can appreciate your quickness and your <laughs> hand speed. Yeah. 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 He looked great last night, man. I had yeah. I, had, I had really no complaints. Uh obviously styles make fights. I, like I said, they they prepared to the T for Jose Benavidez. They were a step ahead of him. Um, a complete step ahead of David Ben or excuse me, Jose Benavidez from beginning to end. Um, I there were really no surprises. Uh, he he from, took him to school from when Jose's you, side. Yeah. One thing I noticed when a when the other fighter is talking and taunting the whole fight, usually you're going to school. Yeah, it was a lot of taunting. <laughs> he, he reminds me of David, uh, a baby version of David when he's actually the big brother. But he reminds me of David, but he don't let his hands go like David. David will taunt you and then tax your ass. It just wasn't. He's this was only his. Uh, third fight in four years it's hard to get your conditioning right yeah too when you're you know not fighting often yeah 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 but you can see you can see david in him you can tell they're brothers and that, yeah oh yeah they, they both got that heart and, yeah and the excitement but danny he he always has had like people would try to say he's flat-footed but he's always had good quick feet fighting off the back foot or moving side to side it's more when he has to go forward and and mm-hmm. cut the ring off um and, and and we and I guess to, to be on the other side of the coin, we've said all the positives. I still don't think he's going to become the champion at 54. I don't think he beats Jamel Charlo. I think the best style matchup for him at 54 with the tops was Tim Zhu because Tim Zhu's 5'8". Tim Zhu's not a big guy. Uh, I, and Tim Zhu has the style like Benavides. He's going to come to Danny and give Danny a chance to fight in the style he's most comfortable with, especially this weight where he wants to box instead of be go after. I, the guy. I will. I mean, this is a crazy one. I love to see Danny in front door just to just to see the shit. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna be honest. Just just for a fan of boxing. How the hell are you gonna work? Because he's coming forward. What are you gonna do? Like Danny, that fight ain't for Danny. Yeah, I, it's, it's, it's a bad. It's a bad. He's style. too big and too I'm young. A fan. I said for a boxing fan, not for Danny Garcia. Danny's. N- I, 
he'll he'll, he'll tell me if I'm wrong, but I don't think Danny's ever been in the guy in the ring with a guy as big as Fondora. No one and, Danny's size has ever been in the ring with someone as big as Fondora. I have. Well, yeah. I, mean, I, always, I, know, I just was going to bring you up. Well, but, no, but you, that was at yeah. 65. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Out, out of 54. Yeah. 47. So, I'm just, I'm I'm not sure, like, if they know how to even, like, prepare for yeah, like, a big guy like that. But last night, he called out Keith Thurman. I, Keith I, Thurman. I love that. Keith he Thurman out. respond. Keith. What do we think? I love that. Well, I, I love that fight at 54. Hey, I think he gets to Keith. So you think it's a case where, because sometimes. Give me, give me, mess around and give me height. I think he get Keith. What you think? I think he gets Keith. Sometimes they say when a guy loses a half step, you get a, a more exciting fight than when two guys are all the way in their prime because they're harder to hit. Mm -hmm. Because the first time around, it wasn't a great fight. It got off to a hot start yeah, and, and you're, fizzled yeah, you're out right. a little bit. So I, I'm more like, I'd rather see him fight Lara at 55 because it's something new. And it's a chance for him to grab a belt in a new division. I've seen him and Keith when they were in their primes. I, yeah. I don't need to see it again. Keith talked that talk, but Keith ain't the Keith that beat Sean Porter and Danny Garcia. Let me tell you this. We just saw from Danny moving up to 154 would be beneficial for Keith Thurman. You, you, think, you think we get old Keith back? He going to grow the we, hair we out? Get a, we get a... We get a, a a, <laughs> we don't get old Keith, but we get like a we get, get we get a fresher Keith. We get a fresher Keith than we've gotten at forty seven. He's it, it, hey, let me, let me let me cut you off here. Don't we get no fucking ideas? No, 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 everybody no, no, going no. fifty four. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, me and Sean Porter at fifty four. It's a lot, okay? You getting hyped over here? Hey, there you go. <laughs> I see the vein again. My guys, my guys. <laughs> my guys. <laughs> but, hey, listen, I gotta say this. Um, Danny, with his as impressive as good. As comfortable as as he looked last night, get back in the ring. Yeah, don't there's, take. Yeah. There's no need for four months, five months to go by without you getting back in the ring. And I remember we were talking about this a little while ago. I never said Brian Kenny's name, but I was saying that someone had mentioned this was a while ago. I don't even know what episode it was, but and I'll just go ahead and just say it again. So I had a conversation with Brian Kenny one day. This was after I had fought for Miller and before. Terrence Crawford was announced. Hey, when you getting back in the ring? I said, I'm not sure yet. I knew what, what was in my head and what was on my mind, what I wanted to do. He said, why don't, you, why don't you guys just fight? He said, that's how boxing used to be. Guys used to just get in the ring and fight. You guys just got to get in the ring and fight. That's what you need to do. You need to let the public, the public just needs to see you. He said, there's nothing wrong with you not fighting a guy that's who's at Sean, the top. That's our tail feel. What, He's, about what? If I just fight? I mean, I think that's how all fans feel, but I'm, I've been around long enough to understand the new, like, yeah, the business not that and all easy that. Yeah, and all yeah. that stuff. But go ahead. He, he said, he said, there's, yeah, nothing, essentially there's nothing wrong with you fighting uh, guys that aren't on your level. He said, look at you. You fought for, for uh, so, uh, Sebastian <laughs> Formella. Everybody tuned into that. Everybody yeah. loved that fight. They loved to see you. They weren't there to see Sebastian. They wanted to see you. He said, sure. if you guys get in the ring, people will watch the fights because they know who you are. Mm -hmm. And you'll have an opportunity to get more fans. He said, back in the day, guys were fighting five, six, seven times a year. You guys were fighting what? Two? Two times, if that. <laughs> if that. He, he says, yeah. he says, you guys have to be busier in order to get the fans to to uh, to to acknowledge you and to really roll with you and want to see you more. All that being said, Danny, don't take too long to get back in the ring. Don't feel you like, wanted Keith back in the ring by this time. I want to. I want Sean, Keith back Sean, in the ring. I was yeah. say you said this exact same thing to Keith Thurman yeah. after his fight. There's no because it, it depends on like what you want out of the sport and what and what. What you, what your, like what your, what, what your plan is. Mm -hmm. My plan after for for uh, for Mella was Crawford or nobody. Like it was Crawford or I'm pretty uh, much. Earl? I was like Crawford or I'm gonna retire because oh. I I don't want to fight Earl again. Oh. And then I I the thoughts of fighting Keith had come back. You know yeah. things like that. But for the most part, it was Terrence or nothing. But I was I was listening to Brian. I was like, yo, that make a lot of sense. And then I was like, no, but you can't do that. Like stick to your plan. Danny said last night, I'm a fighter. This is what I love to do. This is what I want to do. Get back in the ring. Don't, don't aim at names. Aim at guys that are going to, people are going to come to watch you fight. And don't worry about the names right now. Get a couple of more fights at 54. Get comfortable at 54. Let everybody see you be great at 54 the way I saw last night. Uh, Tony Harrison next. Yeah, That'll be a great fight. Get people interested in you at 54. Don't, 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 don't like put yourself like at risk. Or anything like that so quickly at 54. Like, just enjoy your career and get some more fights on your belt. We're we're 
we're almost in August. Yeah, I want to see you back in the ring at, at October at the latest. Damn. Sometime, sometime in October, you didn't take any punishment. Yeah. You got you got a lot of momentum on your side. Whatever you did in training, like don't let all that training go to waste because you want a vacation now because you got paid. Now it's not the time to vacation. I didn't I didn't vacation in between a lot of my fights because I was like, I got I got things to do. You know what I mean? Don't vacation. Get back in the ring. Get back in the ring. Get back in the ring and let everybody see you be great. Yeah. He that was the Lucas Matisse boxing that we saw. Yeah. That was the best he had boxed yeah. since Lucas Matisse. I like, I know I'm you tight. mentioned Tony Harrison. I like the Tim Zoo Castaño fights for him because mm -hmm. they're short 154s and they come at Danny, mm -hmm. allow him to fight in the way he feels most comfortable mm -hmm. these days. If he mm -hmm. fights Tony, Tony's 6'1", and he's going to fight going backwards. Mm -hmm. Dan, That's never been Danny's game, cutting the ring off and going and getting you. So I, 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 I like I won't be mad at Laura either. And, well, see, Laura, that would have been a nightmare style six, seven years ago, yeah. but he doesn't move as much yeah, as he yeah. used to. So that's a better fight now. For Car Danny. I mean, Carson will pick Laura if he was here. So <laughs> I mean, Laura's shown the power to knock out middleweights. And Danny that, started that is a it. tough fight for Danny. Yeah, a very tough fight. Yeah, tough I mean, all these fights going to be tough. Who? I mean, you can't go back. No, you can't go back. If you want to get to Charlo, you got to go forward. So you got to yeah. go through them guys to get to Charlo. Yeah. So we can't have you fighting a tune up. Yeah, I was gonna say I'm not saying fight a uh bus driver, yeah. but at the same time, there's no need for Charlo right now. Yeah, exactly. Um He's even if you're talking anyways. about yeah, even if you're talking about a fight with Keith, like Keith, get back in the ring, get back in the ring at 54 and 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 build that fight. You know I got I mean? one for y'all. Brian Castano. Yeah, that's, he that's said it good. already. Oh I, look, I do right. like that one though. I do like that right. one. It was coming no, back no, to me. I, like I did that to you earlier in the show. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, it was coming back. I do like that one though. No, I'm hyped. I'm hyped. That's a really good that's fight. A, the was where's he from? Argentina, Sean Porter. Argentina. <laughs> that's a really good fight.